Hey, hey everyone, I am in a different place. I'm actually in somewhere in my state, but it's quite far away. It's quite far away. We are in basically the heart of Golden, Colorado. Not the heart I was imagining. I'm, I'm, used, to the, I'm used to the Colorado Mills, funnily enough. But we're not there. Like I said, we're in the heart of Golden, and if this charger and all of that is any indication, I am, in, I am very much indeed at the Colorado, or sorry, I'm at the Mopar Big Block Party. Yes, look at that. Plum Crazy Charger, there's a, we got a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot of people. I was watching the, I was watching FCA's sort of promo video for it, and it looked, it looked quite a, busy it looked very packed here and yeah it's packed it i was not expecting i think it's less than that video it's kind of late it's actually six o'clock right now but yeah also i forgot my proper intro if you guys don't know if you're watching on mopar insiders i'm cody wagner i host a podcast called, called cody's car conundrum and i'm a contributor to this website and youtube channel mopar insiders and everything else that i said everything else that i said and you're probably noticing that i'm wearing shades well yeah, the sun is out, it's 6 o'clock, it's summer, so they've picked a very appropriate time, a very, very appropriate time to do this Mopar Big Block Party. But anyway, we'll be getting some video, we'll be getting a lot of video actually of me talking and walking around this event. But I hope you enjoy, it's a lot of fun, it took a very long drive to get here, but enjoy. We're walking around, there's a very big, very big speaker. You may, you may, you may or may not hear me. In fact, just let me do this so it's, uh, so the mic's more focused on me. I would hope it is. But yeah, we're walking down to the other end of the street actually, because we've got a few more cars over here, and I want to see what they've got. And now, let's go down to that wide body. Well, we're here at the wide body. There's kind of a lot of people here, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to show you, but it's here. It's a B5 Blue Charger Hellcat wide body. It's here. Look at those wheels, man. I was hoping they'd have it, but I didn't think they would. So, of course, the simulator is free, but you also get this t-shirt. I want you to feel this t-shirt, just feel it. It is baby soft. Brand new. So, again, if you guys want one, just take it and check with us. Someone hit the wall on that run, it was funny. Let's see him, come on. What? All right. Just got that one. Now I'm in a real tat. He's got a real low bar tat. Is that one you just got? Just get that right down there. What else? Like a real one. Who's got a real one? All right, there's one. Hey, look at that. Oh my, oh my, here we go. I knew this was going to take a turn for the worst right here. Look at this gentleman right over here. He play, look at that eat. Look at that eat right there, on. Willie. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. How much Mopar on there? I see chicken flags. 
Oh, Leah Sonny, you tattooed it. That's Max Rebel right there. Anybody, who what else? What do you guys think? Does what do you guys want? What do you got? Let's see it. Oh, no, here we go. One right here. Oh, look at that. That's oh, there you go. Right there. Yeah, that's legit. There you go. Scat Pack. Scat Pack. How many people think he gets it right here? How many people vote for this gentleman? Scat Pack tattoo. Oh, no, we got one more right here. Let's see it. Oh, look. He's got the Scat Pack, too. Man, we all got in the Mo Party. He's got two of them and another one on his upper thigh, but we don't need to see that. <laughs> I think that Mr. Scat Pack there, I mean, he, well, he, he got three of them. Well, I mean, are we going, for, are, are we going, are we going for numbers or are we going for the first person up here with the, you know, Mo Party? Oh, give it to him. He got three of them. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Here you go, sir. Sorry, you're going to get a party yeah. gift anyway. There you go. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. All right. That's what happens with. Oh, would you like a shirt? Are you sure? Well, you gotta tell me one thing before I give you the shirt. What's your cards? So we got pickup truck take it home. We got Leah printed cut out. We got all kinds of them. Let's do it. Are you ready to draw? I'm ready to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! Woo! Big ticket. Big ticket. Is this a big ticket? Looks like Brandy. I hope everybody leaves here with something. Are you guys ready to get tired? Don't forget to check out all the cool cars, all the great vendors. 8 to 8 30, gonna be Matt and Leah right up here at the Mopar Center. You guys will never believe what just happened. Holy mess. So, I was saying there's not a Viper here. What was I saying again? Okay, there wasn't a Viper here. Briefly. Briefly. And then there was a Viper here. It just came. It's kind of nine o'clock as it's late as you can probably tell but it's a lot later than it's been the rest of the day it is late as crud i think people have started drinking so this is uh, it'll be a little bit funny to see if anything happens it probably won't i'm just walking through the streets of golden right now but there was a viper here it was a voodoo it was a voodoo 2 edition it was a gen 5 viper acr voodoo 2 edition no joke sorry there was some lights no joke i can't believe it it came so late, but I don't even care. It came. There was a Viper here. I don't even know how. We got a lot of traffic here. Let's just do this. I don't even know how. I, I, I still can't believe it. But fourth and I talked with the Suns and more good stuff. I got it back up because that's copyright. <laughs> sorry, if someone uh, strumming a banjo. I'm sorry. I'm not very musically inclined and I don't really care right now because something amazing happened. But another amazing thing happened that I can't talk about right now because if I do talk about it right now that's going to spoil what happens later. But yeah, yeah there was a white race yard, it was a Voodoo 2 edition, it was black. Even in the night I got some sick photos and you guys know I don't say that basically for anything but it was, oh, you, no idea, no idea. I gotta watch where I'm going. But yeah, a whole lot of awesome, a whole lot of awesome. That's, that. It, I could just stop right there. A whole lot of awesome happened. Saturday is going to be a good day. When I get back, assuming I do even a little bit of editing, that's going to be a good, like, two hours of editing. I, didn't, I got a handful of photos, actually, so that's still going to be a while of editing. But yeah, it's been awesome. I tried to get a shirt. I'm going the wrong way. Let's see, let's see. There we go. They were throwing out t-shirts. I didn't manage to get any. Mostly because I was standing at the wrong place at every time. I was standing at the I was standing in the wrong place at all times, all times, which was unfortunate. But th what what just happened? I don't care. Does a viper being here alone totally make up for that? But they had a good concert. They played Toto Africa. I didn't record that because that's copyright. But I don't care. Sorry, just a whole lot of traffic. A whole lot of traffic. But yeah, they played Toto Africa. I don't even. Nah, I wasn't expecting that. Sorry. Yeah. So some of the songs I had heard before, they played. Uh, let's see. Hit me with your best shot. That was a good one. That was a good one. But yeah, they played Africa. Oh, they. We got up Buffalo. Look. Look at this behind me. Big Buffalo. Check it out. Bronze Buffalo, big bronze Buffalo, bronze something. 
Nice culture here at the Mopar Big Block Party. It's a lot of fun. I keep looking at the scat back there. It's kind of cool looking at that while I'm holding the camera out. But yeah, this has been a fun day. The music was good. The music was actually good. Total Africa, hit me with your best shot. They were good. They were good. A lot of fun, a lot of copyright. But it's been a great day. Music fun, Charger Wyatt body, Viper Voodoo 2 edition, Viper ACR Voodoo 2. Whole lot of fun. Robert Jared, I wish you were here because this is nuts. This is not, it starts out but it it's a party. This is a party for the drag racing that's soon to come. Hey, hey everyone, the party has ended. There's no music playing, so I can walk here now, hopefully without having to cut some music out. Uh, Cause that was unfortunate, I need to fix something. Give me a second. I need to massively fix something, okay. Apologies. The party has ended. It's about 10 o'clock, it's late. I think the best answer is, or uh, the best explanation is, it's late o'clock right now. It's very much late o'clock right now, but this has been this has been a blast. I don't do parties. I've thus confirmed I'm not really a, I'm not a party animal. I'm not a party. I don't do any of that. But, but, this was a very good experience. And also, because I haven't gotten a darn picture of this thing, we might as well get a video. Check. And as you can probably see, the recording cut out, which is unfortunate. Uh, I think the battery, <laughs> I think the battery on my camera died, and that's why the recording just shut off and I thought I had another recording where I kept going and I thought I switched the battery either I did and I lost the file or the battery died and I still lost the file so in either case you get me way after the fact talking about what the event was like and so as you can as you know from the video I said it was a long drive it was a long drive and it's you kind of have to be careful because the town is kind of it's kind of deep in like a small crevice between two hills or a few hills so it, you can miss it if you're not careful but if you follow your directions almost to a, I think pro probably to a T you'll get there just fine and uh, parking was parking wasn't so bad parking wasn't so bad for when we got there which was basically when everything started uh, I don't suspect that that would be the case all the time but we did manage to find a parking spot not too not too long after we got there uh but the first thing you know the first thing you see when you get onto the off-ramp and then you turn left and you're driving down and you're getting to the Mopar block party the first thing that you see is the roads blocked off and then a just a metric ton of people lying in the streets and I, i'm not i hesitate to call it woodward levels of people but because the town is this this city of gold it is actually kind of small it's very condensed. It is very, very condensed. Like imagine those street races in Fast and Furious, but it's on, but it's on an actual, like street block, not in some shipping warehouse area. It's kind of like that. So it's surprisingly tight. And considering that, uh, I should have, I should have expected that it was going to be that everyone, that the crowd was going to be quite condensed. And I did watch a video prior on FCA's own website, on their media website, about about the event, just to get an idea of how busy it would be. 
that video doesn't do it justice. It is crazy how many people are there. And, ju and just for Mopar stuff, and yeah, just for Mopar stuff, we had Charger, a Charger Scat Pack. We had the Charger Hellcat Wide Body, as you saw in the video. We had a Viper, which came later. We had quite a few classic Mopars. Chrysler 300, a, a 1930 Soviet. I don't remember what that one was, but it was really cool. It turned up quite late, actually. But yeah, and it was all just Mopar vehicles. And we had a lot of 13, uh, Challenger 1320s. We had a Durango SRT. Again, we had... It was just all Mopars. And if you're not a Mopar person, there is still something to enjoy here. Because you still get to see a lot of cars. There is... It, there's a ton of crowds. You have people to talk to. Although I think a handful of them are probably Mopar people. But you also get a band. That played good... Well, this time. This time, I should say. But they did play good music. So even if, even if you're not a Mopar person, perhaps even if you're not a car person, there is still something to enjoy. Because it's kind of just a big party in the middle of a gorgeous, rustic western city in Colorado. With gorgeous views beyond the cars. But yeah, I would go again. It is fantastic. It's a whole lot of fun. You can get a lot of footage like that, that moment where the crowds were sort of able to sort of stop motion thing. That was... I really like that shot. That was a good shot. And that's... I think that was during a slightly less busy part of that event. And if you might not know, the best part about the event outside of the cars, the music, getting some merchandise that they throw out that I didn't get any because I was, like I said, I was in the wrong place every single time. But the best part is that this event is free. If you live in Colorado, even if you don't, you can just stroll in and walk around, have fun. It is a fan fantastic event and the best again the best part is you get all that all that fun for hours and a lot of cool shops by the way we only really stopped him at a restaurant but it's still a whole lot of cool shops and all that except for the shops and the restaurants but just going to the event itself is free so you don't especially if you're a mopar person especially in colorado you don't i mean unless you don't like big block parties like that you don't really have a reason not to go unless you're busy of course but if you can make it you really don't have a reason not to go. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time we upload. Alrighty, everyone. I will see you soon.